안녕하세요 철은 제임스입니다 Hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is James and this is Six Reacts where I react to K-pop music videos that you suggest uh, my last video, I posted a montage of uh, most of my top 25 songs of 2020. We went 25 to 11. Now we are going to do 10 all the way to 1, my favorite song of 2020. Uh, before making this video, I realized there are some songs that I left out. So uh, <laughs> I will uh, probably write those songs down here. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be more that I have not... Uh, that I forgot to add in, um, uh, but I will correct that when I do my overall of 2020. Uh, with that being said, let's get right into number 10, which uh, this is a solo artist that I followed um, early on in my K-pop uh, my K-pop stint. That I uh, I went through variety shows and discovered this talented artist. This is just a pre-release, but this song got stuck in my head and I had it on repeat when it first came out and I still listen to it to this day. Here is number 10. Sip. All right, now from one solo artist to another one, this song just came out recently. And um, this is not the first and not the last time that a B-side I liked more than actual title track. Um, this idol is super talented, uh, also in one of my favorite groups. Uh, here is number nine. Cool. All right, and let's just get the solo artist out of the way because number eight is another solo artist and this artist actually just recently debuted. Um, like I said, I discovered a lot of groups through variety shows and uh, this one was on a very, very special variety show that made a very, very special group. Uh, the national group in um, Korea actually. Uh, she did not make the group, but now she's debuting as a solo artist and this song um i didn't realize how much i liked this song when i first heard it i actually have a reaction video to it uh but i keep finding myself wanting to play the song over and over again and uh i keep um playing this song over and over again i think it's the vocals um but the music's not bad too overall this song is uh super catchy to me and enjoy number eight All right, number seven is also a B-side. Um, the title track on this one was not my favorite title track by this group, but this group is so talented that of course, there was two B-sides that really caught my attention. And one of them, yes, I forgot in this list of 25 songs. I do think it would be in my top 25, but this one definitely is as it's at number seven. You guys enjoy my favorite b-side track 
of 2020. Chill. Before 2020, I only stand girl groups. I only watched girl groups, actually. Um, and it got to the point where I got interested in checking out the guys, but I stopped because I knew I was going to start this channel. Through this channel, I discovered this group this year um, through recommendation. And of course, the first song that I reacted to from them was their newest song. Um, you know, that might be a lie. I think uh, they came up with a B-side video as well. But this song, the first song that I heard from them, caught my attention. It's powerful. The, the vocals, the rap, the music, the choreography, everything. The music video, the transitions in this video are crazy. Uh, this is one of my favorite videos of 2020. This is my number six song of 2020. Enjoy. You Alright, this next group was in my top five, but not as high until they came out with um, a comeback late last year. Uh, that comeback through one of their members dealing with anxiety and disappearing for a while. Um, the meaning of the song, the lyrics, everything caught me and they I fell in love with this group more and more so. To where they jumped into my second favorite group. Um, this comeback was good <laughs> this is not the one that really got me into them but this was my first comeback with them in my second spot my second favorite and i didn't disappoint um some people might not like it so much because it's not their typical sound but i think that's good from time to time and actually i do really like the beat drop in this song um you guys enjoy my number five song of 2020 oh This next song was the first comeback of one of the girl groups that I stand uh, of this year. Uh, it was actually uh, the night of Super Bowl Sunday and I remember uh, everybody, I was at a Super Bowl party and everybody made fun of me because I was so excited for a K-pop song to come out. And you know what? I don't care. My friends don't understand. This song killed it for me. And actually this group I saw live twice in one week right before um, everything started getting closed down from the pandemic so this song means uh, a lot to me because um, I got to meet these girls with a high touch event I got to take a picture with them um, and they are just I mean live I, I fell in love with more and more of their members um, not only my bias but their leader uh, really won me over in this uh, you guys enjoy my number four song of 2020. Yeah. 
All right, this next song, I need to apologize to all of their fandom because it took me so long to fall in love with this group. Not, that might be false. It took me so long to look into this group. Um, I skipped over their performances um, on Queendom when I watched Queendom because um, I watched Queendom for two other groups mainly. Um, and now watching Queendom over again, I'm kicking myself because I could have been enjoying their songs for so much longer than I have been. Uh, this was my favorite song. For, for, well, yeah, I would say this is my favorite song of this this group. Uh, their finale of Queendom, uh, their comeback that they came out with in Queendom, um, snatched me too. But this song is my favorite song from this girl group, and I have fallen in love with this group. These girls deserve everything. And I hope nothing but the best for these girls. Here is my number three song of We are at to my top two songs of 2020 thus far. Uh, this song was in first place for a while for me. Uh, and then after the um, song that is in first took over, I kept flip-flopping these back and forth because I love them both almost equally. Um, you guys, this song it, it was different. So what happened with this song is I stayed up late because I stand this group and I was waiting for this comeback and the music video got delayed. Some of you probably already know what I'm talking about. Um, so I watched the performance video and the, just the song, the dance, it all is just so catchy. Um, it has their sound so much to me. Other people may disagree, but um, there's just something about their sound that draws me in every time. and. This song is definitely another one that I always go to uh, when I need a pick-me-up. Um, you guys enjoy my second favorite song thus far of 2020. E. If I was to tell you that this song would be in first place, most of the people that know me through K-pop um, or that know that I like K-pop would say, well, duh, this is your favorite group. Um, but I honestly almost did not have them at first because this comeback was good. Uh, but I can't say it's my favorite song by them, but it's just thinking about number two in this one um these girls are just too talented and i love them too much to not give this song the credit it deserves the vocals in this song um the beat drop the dance the video itself um all of it i loved and with waiting for so long for this song a lot of people had their hopes so high and some got let down I didn't get let down, as you can tell, because this is my number one song of 2020 thus far. You guys, enjoy. Ew.
right, you guys, that was my top 25 songs of 2020 thus far, and this will change. Uh, some of these songs will move up. Some of these songs will move down as uh, we go through 2020, not only because of uh, newer songs, but because, you know, like the more I listen to some songs, they just grow on me more and more and more. And I hope you guys will uh, rejoin me at the end of this year to find out what my final top 25 songs of 2020 are. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please give this video a like. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. Uh, always, I welcome uh, comments down below for suggestions. Uh, I love K-pop. I love discovering new songs through K-pop. Uh, I love discovering new groups through K-pop. So please, guys, suggestions down below. And I hope to see you guys next video. Thank you.